So we're doing a daily show every yeah. now and then. What's that? What's that? It's a show where we uh, do what we do, but it's shorter and every day. Okay. So I made Tommy watch this program. Yeah. This British program. Yeah. Sci-fi program. Yeah. And I hate sci-fi. But you kind of like this a little bit. Because, yeah, it's not, this one definitely wasn't very sci- sci-fi at all. So really nothing we're going to talk about, about right now Black Mirror Season 1, Episode 1. Yeah, they came out swinging, didn't they? They came out, this episode was called The National Anthem. Yeah. And the thing that really, they definitely came out swinging. Because the premise of the episode is basically the Prime Minister of England yep. is uh, forced, blackmailed, to fuck a pig on live TV in order to save the princess. Yep. <laughs> and this was the first episode of Black Mirror, and they're like, this is what we're doing. You either buy in or you buy out. And the funny thing is, is I've seen probably eight other episodes of Black Mirror, and none of them have been this vulgar. I, w- I didn't know. Oh, really? Yeah. No, this is, yeah. Is this the first one you've ever seen? Yeah, I've only watched oh, okay. this one, yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, this is the only one that was like weird like that. I I admire I completely admire the balls it took to be like, you know what? This is our first episode. Dude fuck has to fuck a pig. What's what it, of it? Is it even the pilot? I mean, I guess it would have I, to be. It's huh? yeah, I guess. Huh. It's season 1, episode 1. I don't know. Right. So, what, spoiler alert! <laughs> uh, it's not a spoiler. I mean, no, it's I'm right. Saying, there might be some spoilers. Yeah, uh, yeah, possibly. Yeah, but yeah. So the basic premise is the Prime Minister of England uh, is gets a phone call in the middle of the night. Yep, goes to the his uh, ready room or whatever. Dudes in suits say, "Hey, there's a situation." Shows the princess on tape being held captive. Yep. Blah, blah, blah. Dude is like, okay, what's his demands? The demand is that the prime minister, Michael Corlew or something like that. Corland or something like that? Yeah. Michael something has to fuck a pig on live TV or else the princess dies. Yep. And she's apparently a big celebrity. Like, it's never. It's like Princess Diana, I guess. Yeah, that's a yeah, that's a good comparison. It's never implicitly said that she would inherit the throne eventually, right. but she's like a big social media and yeah, I don't know, celebrity, celebrity darling. Yeah. Right. Yeah, she's a big mascot. So, immediately what what he he's like, "Oh, I'll take the video down. Make sure it doesn't first he says make sure it doesn't leak anywhere." But it already has. Yeah, it was put on YouTube. Yep. He's like, "Well, make sure it's taken down." Well, it's already taken down, but it's been spread and spread and spread. It's probably been viewed 50,000 times at this point. Right. Everybody knows but you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> that you hear your wife crying. So immediately, if you, there's a commentary on the spread of social media or yeah. the use of so, social media, yeah, and he seems more concerned with the fact that this might garner negative publicity because immediately he says, well, I don't want this to end up on page one yeah. of whatever newspaper. Right. He's more concerned with the negative publicity than he is of the, one, princess's safety, two, actually fucking the pig. Well, I mean, in that Can't get that bad press. In that situation, you probably think of yourself first. I mean, that would be the natural place to go. No, but you would think... Thinking of yourself would be, I don't want to fuck that pig. <laughs> right. Yeah. He he says he doesn't want to fuck the pig, but he mentioned in the next breath well, he mentions not appearing on page one as well. Well, did you catch at the very end? And this is a spoiler alert when he's uh, when his wife's like walking up the stairs and he's trying to get her to stop. Uh huh. I think that uh, maybe he liked it. <laughs> oh, is that what you think? Maybe I don't know. No, I don't think so. Cause like I don't know because like she like. She like you know definitely walked away from him, and it was a weird thing. So, yeah, and I can't state enough how great this was. That this was their first episode, and they're like, "Here, 
Yeah. If you don't like this, you're never going to like anything we're going to do. Sorry, you were, you were following the plot line pretty quick, and I just gave it all the way. But. No, no, that does happen at the very end. His wife is like, wants nothing to do with him. Yeah. However, there are some scenes in that after the wife finds out, and they're trying to go through all different scenarios to maybe do whatever they can to either rescue the princess or not. Let the prime minister fuck the pig. <laughs> so they reach out to a special effects company to yeah. CGI something or yeah. whatever. Everything goes south. south yeah. yeah. So his w- wife found, finds out about this because she's seen the YouTube video. <laughs> and then she reads the YouTube comments. Yeah. Yeah. And she marches into the office where he's having a meeting. And again, she's not concerned with the princess. She's not concerned with him fucking the pig. She says, everybody is laughing at us. That's yeah. what she says. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. So more people are concerned with the social media. as Right. Yeah. 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 So it's kind of a what would you do for a Klondike bark <laughs> situation? Because would you fuck a pig? Right. Right. What a bad day. Can you imagine? You're just sleeping, and all of a sudden you wake up, and it ha- you realize you have to fuck a pig. <laughs> yeah, that that's a running theme, I think, throughout the episode, that yeah. they're way more concerned with the, the publicity. Right. And, of course, it's the event is going to be broadcast on live TV. Yeah, in front of everybody. Well... Yeah, that's what live TV <laughs> means. But everybody's like everybody's gathering in these pubs and uh, yeah, it's like a national event. Yeah, I mean, wouldn't it be though? Everybody likes to watch a train wreck, right. <laughs> and like they're in the pub watching and they're drinking their pints or whatever beforehand, and then it starts, and they're all getting sick to their stomach, and uh, there's a bunch of them in, in like a hospital or something. And they're watching, and the one girl's like, oh, I need to turn the channel. And the dude's like, no, this is history. You can't. Yeah, it's She's terrible. like, he's been doing it for an hour, though. <laughs> right, 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 right. Could you have watched it? No. Yeah, I don't think I would have no. either. I mean, that's, yeah. Yeah, I was like, no, I would be one of those people that didn't watch it. And then at the end, you find out that he didn't have to do it anyway. He didn't have to do it anyway. It was a political commentary. The dude hung himself and released the princess an hour beforehand. Yeah, which is kind of unbelievable because, like, wouldn't somebody have seen her at some point? Yeah, like she was just passed out. I think they said it was a half hour. but Oh, really? Yeah, I think it was a half hour. Eh, if it was only a half hour, then maybe no, because everybody was glued to their TV. That's what they said. Yeah, Yeah. they said that. uh, Yeah, so they just, but then they decided never to tell him. Yeah. They were like, okay, he'll never know that he didn't have to do this. (laughs) And then they said, like it was a year later, they said that his approval rating was up three points. Yeah. So, hmm. oh, well, because he he was shown like playing dodgeball or something with some kids, like he yeah. was trying to rehabilitate his image. Right. <laughs> yeah, it was a pretty interesting episode. It was. It's such a ridiculous premise, but the tension throughout the episode. Yeah. Like yeah. when he actually has to he he actually walks into the studio. And his little advisor or handler or whatever says it's a closed set. And he opens the door and sees the pig just sitting there chowing down on something. Right. Just a bunch of That's an awful feeling for the viewer just watching it. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty it was it definitely held my attention. Yeah, it's yeah. So Luckily they didn't really show anything. (laughs) I was like, yeah, they better not. And I guess they couldn't get away with showing anything. No, and honestly, anything that pops in your head is probably worse than the, right. what you could have seen. Right. The most you would have seen was some butt thrusting against some. Right. But in your head, it's a lot worse. Yeah, I guess so. they do show his face at one point. But. Yeah, they show his face on TV, like, just crying and angry. and. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, who wrote that fucking episode? Yeah, I... Isn't there a part after that where the wife looks at the YouTube comments again or something? Maybe. I there, don't know. I, I'd have to go watch I, it. I feel like there's a part where... I feel like I remember there was a part where there was a YouTube comment was, uh, his dick tastes like bacon now or something like that. Just something that alludes to that she's still more upset about yeah, what's going on yeah. online. 
<laughs> the fact that her husband actually did it. Yeah. So hmm. Tommy's going to watch uh, season one, episode two next week, and oh, we're going to sure. continue yeah, our yeah. binge. Have you watched episode two yet? No, not oh, yet. Okay. I think I read the premise and it was interesting, what but was I haven't. It? Do you remember? No, I don't. Okay. So we'll have to figure it out. Hmm. So this has been our daily episode. So uh, hi. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Hey.